Hey, what's going on? This is Engineer Mojo. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to define and evaluate global variables. If you've looked at some of my other tutorials, I've showed you how to define uh, variables locally. But this is, I'm going to show you how to define a global variable. So as always, in MathCAD, oh, just a quick note, I'm using MathCAD Prime version 3.1. You want to come up here to the top left and click new sheet. This populates a new gridded sheet with your blue cursor insertion point, which tells you where your next region, whether text or math, will be inserted onto the page. I'll insert a text region real quick just to show you what we're doing today. I'm an engineer by training, so I always have trouble with spelling. <laughs> Defining and evaluating global variables. So if, just a quick review, whether you've watched my last tutorial or one of my last tutorials or not. When you define a variable, it's pretty simple. Uh, you just type in with that whatever symbol or you know letter you want to use as your representation for the number. You want to type colon and type in the value that you want that symbol to represent, and then you can hit enter or you can use your arrow keys on your keyboard or your mouse to click out the region, and voila, that variable is now defined as six. But this is defined until S6 until in your sheet by chance you define it later so let's give you an example so you have X and then we'll define Y as 2 so we'll do X plus Y equals 8 but now I'll change X to 4 and now when we do X plus y equals now equals 6 because x in this first equation equals 6 but now x in the second equation equals 4 so now you have different values for x plus y and sometimes this is okay and you know you mean for that to happen just because the way you're setting up your calculations that variable will change but sometimes in, in your sheets, you want a variable to stay the same throughout the entire sheet. You don't want to make the mistake of changing it by accident. So that's when you want to define a global variable. And how you do that is, let me delete all this out. Just so we can start fresh. So I'll start with X. And you want to go up here to operators and I apologize beforehand the program I'm using to capture this window does not show the menu at the moment but if you could see the menu I guess when you're doing this with yourself you'll see different topics you see algebra calculus comparison you want to go down to definition and evaluation and in there you'll see uh, what we use to define the variable before locally the definition symbol you'll see the evaluation symbol which is just your equal symbol and then you'll see a symbol that's three lines and this is your global definition and you can either get to this by going to operator menu and clicking it here or you can get to this by typing directly into your sheet control shift and the squiggly tilde symbol which is usually your top left of your keyboard so that brings up three lines, one, two, three, and that now means X is defined globally as whatever you want it to be. So we'll type in three, and then we'll say Y is locally uh, a value of seven. So then X plus Y equals 10. Now, if I try to type in X equals five, you get an error and you get this red box MathCat is trying to tell you that you already have this variable defined globally throughout your sheet so you either have to 
remove this global definition or remove this variable as x and change this to a you know a z or something like that and this is a good way uh, also within your sheet to keep things clean you don't want to in your calculations double name variables uh, or double assign uh, variables because that gets confusing when somebody's trying to follow your work it can give you wrong answers so this is a very cool tool within MathCat to use to make your sheets as clean as possible and again this is defining and evaluating global variables and you know as usual I like to keep these tutorials pretty short I don't like to bog you down in long 20-30 minute <laughs> math sessions so if you have any questions please comment down below I love talking to people answering questions if you like the video please like and also please share uh, share this knowledge I like using YouTube to gain knowledge so I'm just trying to pay back what I've gained and that's all I have for you today thanks and be on the lookout for other tutorials